better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world So today, I wish we learn together with you at home. I wish to learn subject physics. So physics is a whole topic, is a whole subject in the high school curriculum syllabus. So today, the form tools I want to introduce the topic, the first topic on magnetism. So I hope you enjoy this lesson as we interact more during this lesson. So, magnetism. Magnetism it is a whole topic. Where we run magnets, where we run attraction, where we run repulsion. So that's simply what I want to discuss with you as you enjoy it from home. So, magnetism. Can you ask yourself, what is magnetism? One, what is a magnet? The word Magnetism comes from the word magnet. What is a magnet? What is a magnet? It, it is a, you can ask yourself, what is a magnet? We use the real man language, a spark. A spark. Most of students get it as a spark. You will hear say, I don't have a spark, but that is a real man language. But today, I wish now you stop that word spark, now you call it a magnet. Now you call it a magnet. Now you call it a magnet. So what is a magnet? You can ask yourself, what is a magnet? Have you ever seen a magnet? Most of you, I know, you have done several things. For example, maybe you have a radio that has spoiled. So you are going to use that speaker. The speaker has a spark as you call it, a spark. I will use the word a spark, as you call it. But I'll say it's a magnet. If you see, or you take that, that speaker that is used in the radios, it has a magnet on it. So that is a magnet. We have several types of a magnet. We have, we can have a bar. We have a bar magnet. Have a bar magnet number two. You can have U-shaped magnet. U-shaped magnet. Number three, you can have a ring or a circular. A ring or a circular magnet. A ring or a circular magnet. So you can now try to suppose we draw a bar, a bar magnet. We have it there. So a magnet must have two poles. So you can say it has two poles. What is a pole? This is an end. You can ask yourself what is magnetic? What is magnetic poles? You say these are ends of a magnet. This is an end of a magnet where attraction is stronger. Where attraction, where attraction is stronger. Where attraction is stronger. Knowing that, it now becomes very easy for you. One, these are bar magnets. We say it has two poles. One, it must have north pole. It has North Pole and it has a South Pole. It has a South Pole. Knowing that, now it is very easy to go on. So, that is a bar magnet. So, that is a bar magnet. That is a bar magnet. Number two, we say it is a U-shaped. So, a U-shaped. You can have it that way. 
these are U-shaped, they are normally used in companies and industries. For example, where electricity is being provided, like Kindaruma. So we have this north, this south. So these are U-shaped, U-shaped, U-shaped magnet, U-shaped magnet. And the last one we have the circular or the ring. Now we have the circular or the ring magnet. So we have the canyons clay magnet. Clay magnet. So those are the types of magnets that will come across. These they are used in, mostly in companies because you can find you are saying that house of yours, like where electricity is being provided, you are going to produce, sorry, where it's being produced, you can see a very huge magnet, a U-shaped magnet. Because that's where we need more force for magnet. You can find even a whole house, like this house, it is a magnet, a very big magnet, like a container. Even a container is small. So that, so that's where more and bigger magnets they are used. Green magnet, you can see it in your radios, you can see it at the speakers in your radios. So knowing that, now we can go directly to the attraction and repulsion of magnets. So we can now start attraction. Attraction, what do you understand by the term attraction? Attraction, this is where different poles come together. They attract each other. They attract each other. For example, I have an example here. These are two magnets. These are two magnets. So you are going to see, if you are going to bring them closer, you, you are going to see they attract each other. So for example, you can see it. They are coming together. So this is simply what we are referring as the attraction of magnet. You can see it for yourself, it is bringing itself together. It is attracting because they are of different poles. So we assume like these are North Pole, these are South Pole. That's why they are going to attract. You can see there is attraction. That's simply what we are referring to. So coming together of poles, that is attraction. The next thing is repulsion. What do you understand by the repulsion? This is where, for example, a male and a male, they are going to have that repulsion because they are of the same gender. A lady and a lady, a girl and a girl, there is repulsion because they are of the same gender. But a girl and a boy, they are going to come together. That's why we are saying there is attraction. But a lady and a lady, we are going to observe there is Repulsion, you can see they are not coming together. You can see it. There is that force that is making them not to attract. You can see it. So this is the repulsion because of the opposite or different poles. The opposite or different poles. For example, you can say attraction, attraction, it occurs, attraction, occurs in different poles, different or unlike poles, unlike poles. It occurs on the different, sorry, this is the word different, that's the word different, different or unlike poles, but repulsion Repulsion, it occurs on the similar, same, or the like poles. It occurs on the, for example, we can have north, repulsion to north, same, but here we have north attracting the south pole. So knowing that, hope. You are, going, you are on the better position. So I hope you have enjoyed the class. What I emphasize more, can you differentiate between repulsion and attraction of a magnet? 
Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Thank you. See you next time.